choices. I did make the choice to go on all of Purinol. And the reason for that was three years into this, literally. And I have, I have uh, extensive data on myself because I finger stick for uric acid every single day before and after meals. Uh, and I've been doing that for a really long time. And one of the things the doctors will tell you is when you go on all purinol, you're also vulnerable to a gout flare. And I, I had one. And here's the, the thing that is amazing. My uric acid concentration was 4.5 megs per deciliter. It's exactly in the range. If you talk to uh, Dr. Johnson about this and you say, well, you know, after somebody is stabilized, right, they've eliminated alcohol and fructose and, and hyperglycemia and they're no longer having gout flares. If they still are hyperuricemic and they take a uh, urate lowering drug, what's the target? And he's going to say between four and five megs per deciliter. So, albeit when you go on the drug, you are vulnerable to a flare. And I had one. The interesting thing is, is that just like the first flare that I described to you, the symptoms were mild and I didn't have to take even ibuprofen and I didn't stop exercising. This seems to be a, a benefit to being on a ketogenic lifestyle, whether it's carnivore or whether you've, you've ramped up the hill from that and you're eating, you know, low carb vegetables as a, as a function of, of your lifestyle or not, that if you do have a gout flare, that it tends to be mild. And this is what I hear from my followers too. I'm not claiming that this is any way of a scientific study, but the majority of them say up front, well, yeah, I've still had, I'm still having some flares, but they're nothing like what I had before. So the first thing that, that gout sufferers got to understand is that gout is not an individualized specific type of ailment. Uh, and, and this is something that the medical establishment wants you to believe. It's like an inconvenient thing. You take an anti-inflammatory and it goes away. It's not. Um, we know that uric acid is required for a gout flare, but here, here's the distinction What's required for the gout flare is, an, is a sudden acute rise in intracellular uric acid in a chondrocyte, which is the, the biological cell that's important inside the cartilage. And that sudden acute rise of uric acid needs to be happening inside a chondrocyte, which is suffering from chronic low-grade inflammation. So I believe that the chondrocytes have, are primed for this. How do they get primed for it? Because people like me, for example, I'm in my 60s and I've been eating, I was eating the standard American diet for decades, and th which is hyperglycemic. And then as an adult, I was, I was drinking alcohol on a regular basis along with the added sugars. So you have what's called, the, I call it the deadly triad. You have the alcohol, you have the fructose that's coming in from the added, added sugars, high fructose corn syrups, and you have hyperglycemia. DrStatrust.com